Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's session. Uh, myself, Shaptoshi Energy, and I am actually uh, currently a master's student. I'm currently pursuing my MTech in Computer Science from Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata, or uh, also known as ISA Kolkata. Okay, so actually, I'll be telling some of the some of my journeys, uh, from the story of my journey. Uh, that can rather help you in let's say pursuing your dream okay so actually i am I, as i told you that i have i'm studying my masters in isa kolkata right so and maybe you can think that i'll be guiding you a little bit on this isa kolkata how to get into isa kolkata so i i hope most of you have heard about the as uh, IITs and triple IITs and also NITs and most of the you are quite aware of this no need to tell about this kind of thing okay and you are also preparing for gate and uh, you obviously have uh, may have tried for the J mains or advanced to get into these IITs and IITs or triple IITs in your undergrads also okay so now you are trying for the gate exam but uh, I actually doubt that how many of you have heard about this uh, this institute's name. This is actually Indian Statistical Institute. Indian Statistical Institute. And uh, to be very honest, uh, this institute uh, I live in West Bengal, and uh, Kolkata is the you know the capital of West Bengal. So therefore. Uh, Studying in this ISI Kolkata was a dream from my childhood actually and what this um, institute is all about this is the one of the most famous institute or you can say one of the most reputed institutes in terms of mathematics in terms of mathematics mathematics and statistics okay so many people are there you can find many people or many faculties are there who have studied in IITs or NITs or have done their PhDs from the Stanford universities or UC Berkeley and they are currently pursuing uh, or they are currently teaching in ISA Kolkata. So um, actually there is another institute uh, called CMI which is actually Chennai Mathematical Institute and there is another one that is IMSC. Okay, uh, Institute of Mathematical Sciences. So these three institute actually contribute a lot. These three institute constitute, uh, contribute a lot in terms of mathematics and statistics in India as well as in the world mathematics. Okay, so if you uh, go for, uh, if you have, uh, if you know someone who has uh, pursued the B stats or B maths in ISI Kolkata, you must be knowing that most of the 90% of the people, 90% and I guarantee you this number, 90% of these people after pursuing their B stat or B math go to either UK or USA and you can write my norm, write my words down, okay. 90% of the students go to UK or USA to pursue their masters or dual degree or PhD. And I personally know some of them, okay, so I know the standard of the study they have in their, in this ISA Kolkata. So I don't want to actually tell you about what is the reputation of this college, but uh, you should, uh, if you are a master's, or uh, if you have uh, uh, pursued your engineering from any of the colleges in your states, uh, okay. So you must have heard about ISI. So actually there is some other branches of ISI too. There is a Chennai branch. There is a Bangalore branch. And there is also a Delhi branch. Okay. And obviously the head branch is the Kolkata branch. Okay. And there is some small branches in also Tejpur also. But there is uh, the diploma. PG diploma is... Um, taught there okay but the main branches are Kolkata Bangalore and Delhi you can think of okay so the if you are uh, interested in studying mathematics along with computer science okay so you know that computer science is not all about coding so there is a, some part of coding 
but the math the computer science where have actually this computer science generated form so if you have heard the name of alan turing have you heard the name of alan turing there is also a famous movie on uh, alan turing uh, the benedict cumberbatch has uh, acted on the uh, acted as alan turing there i don't remember the name of the movie but uh, so actually this the, the, uh, the concept of a computer science has generated from the parent of mathematics so this is the parent of computer science if you go for anything let's say i am taking about dbms okay so the dbms is nothing but actually some set operations this is actually some set operation if you consider the cross product or if you consider the join okay if you consider some tuple over there they are nothing but some sets okay and some sets and functions are there and you are considering that as a da database so you can see that this database has generated from actually state operation and if you uh, if you have studied the book rosen if you have studied the book rosen of discrete mathematics in depth you can find this kind of thing even the operating system has also uh, application in mathematics okay so the um, there is applications of mathematics in operating system also so if you studied the rosen book in in a depth you you would be I, i hope you have already noticed this kind of thing so actually from my uh, childhood i was quite interested i'm not at all interested in coding and uh, let me tell you in details that i was i used to hate this kind of coding okay and so even now i hate coding but the main interest my main interest uh, revolves around this mathematics so i was quite enthusiastic about this data science ai ml and i and i know most of you are currently because this is the buzz word ai ml this is a buzz word and currently most of you are interested in this kind of thing but let me tell you a very honest thing that if you are interested in ai ml then this python i hope you have uh, worked with python or r if you are interested in this kind of thing and knowing this tensor flow or any kind of think any kind of um, you know the libraries like pytorch or keras they are actually useful they are actually useful to build you some models uh, models or you know uh, for hyper tuning some your models but what they are actually generating from what they are actually generating from they are all actually generating from this mathematics okay so the all the you know the parent of all the things all this computer science has generated from this mathematics so therefore if you study if you want to study computer science at its own depth at its own um, you know at its own flavor then you have to study the tcs not tata consultancy service but you have to study the theoretical computer science if you want to have the flavor of computer science then i would recommend you to study about this one and if you are quite interested about masters then masters is not all, all about having a placement at amazon or google but it is all it is, it is also about learning this theoretical computer science learning about the mathematics behind the computer science okay so that is why that is the main motivation of mine to join iis kolkata but uh, actually this joining was not very much the the way that i that i was going through was not very much smooth not smooth the journey was not smooth actually i graduated in i graduated in 2020 okay and in this year in 2021 i got admitted in as a kolkata and uh, in the last one year uh, after graduating from uh, in 2020 i worked in tcs as a digital cadre and i got offer from got offer from stimens okay and here actually i got offer from wipro as well i got offer from infosys okay and i got offer from one product based company called preeti technologies okay 
so i rejected all those offer and i joined tcs because uh, the main motivation of joining tcs was quite uh, ridiculous because i joined tcs hearing the fact that the workload in tcs is very less i heard from some random sources that the workload in tcs is very less and i want to pursue my uh, masters preparation along with tcs therefore i joined tcs but believe me the workload is tcs the highest the highest and if you know that it it uh, actually tcs wants you to work for 9 hours which is insane all the all the other service based company if you go for any service based company they want you to work for 8 hours and if you go for any product based company they even want you to work for any time and if you just complete the work then you are good to go you can work for only 2 hours also per day okay you can work for 2 hours a day and you can you are good to go if you can uh, if you can complete your works but tcs wants you to work for 9 hours and i work for uh, worked in night shift, I worked in morning shift, I worked in second shift I, and I worked in all the mess up things that can happen to me in this kind of way. Okay, so but still the main motivation that was behind me, that was dri driving me is of joining the ISI. I gave gate in 2020, I gave 2020 gate but I am known as the king. King of what? King of silly mistakes. I am known as the king of silly mistakes and I do uh, I, and I did a lot lot of silly mistakes and I scored like 550, 550 plus marks in gate 2020. Okay. And as well I gave the gate 20, and yeah after 2020 I appeared for the ISA exam in 2020 and I ranked 34. Okay. And uh, there is actually 35 seats there and for general there is seats is 19 only. 19 seats for general and I scored 34th in general category. But eventually I couldn't make it to ISI with the 34th rank in 2020. Okay, But I didn't give up and I, and I promised myself that I have to go into ISI the next year. And I, therefore, I uh, I um, rejected this product-based company. This this was paying a good one, and I um, rejected Infosys. Infosys was always my dream uh, company to join. Uh, obviously, not as product-based, but Infosys was uh, like uh, the campus in the you know what what it says the campus in Mysore. Yeah, the campus in Mysore is actually a dream to join. Okay. So I rejected all of these things and I joined TCS in a, in a hope that I will be able to study and I will be able to continue my preparation. But unfortunately, the work pressure, the work pressure couldn't, couldn't uh, give me enough time to study. Okay. But instead of everything, every, 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 you know, the turmoil, every turmoil. I, I kept on going, I kept on going, a lot of phases have come, a lot of phases have come when I got depressed, I um, thought of, I thought of uh, leaving this preparation, I thought of leaving this preparation, but, but at the end of the day, what I remember that I have to go to this three letter college, ISM. So this is the more main driving force at the end of every day that uh, when I used to sleep, I used to think of these three words. Okay? Instead of all the hard works, instead of all the busy day, instead of all the frustration that, I, that can come from this um, service-based company, I always dreamt of this three letter word. And that is why in 2021, I am here in this three letter word itself. Maybe may, may sound some motivating journey to you, but let me tell you this is this was not actually a motivating journey. This was actually a very frustrating journey. But but you know what? <laughs> some people say uh, just love and uh, try to love your journey. Try to love your journey. It's all about journey. But <laughs> let me tell you the the main thing is when you reach your goal. When you reach your goal after the journey reach your goals after your journey it's the most 
most happy happy feeling that you can think of the most happy feeling if you reach the if you can reach the goal is the most happy journey so uh, finally i reached this uh, my dream so here i am pursuing today and i would guide you a little bit about and if you want more suggestion on this topic i would like to do a <clears throat> separate video or you can directly contact me via linkedin also i'll give the linkedin profile in the description box okay so just keep in touch with me so actually the isa exam this isa exam has two ways to uh, enter, uh, actually to enter into isa it has two part one is cas and another one is crs so this is computer science and this is uh, cryptology okay so you have two ways you can either go through get or you have to take the entrance exam you have to go through the entrance exam okay so if you are going through get you have to either score 770 plus 770 plus for what 770 plus to get into the get waiver list to get into the get waiver list okay but it uh, but scoring 770 plus does not guarantee you are seat in isi okay so you actually you have to score like 880 plus if you want to guarantee a seat if you want to guarantee a seat you have to score 880 plus okay so this is actually give you the waiver list name but don't give uh, don't get satisfied with, with the 770 you have to score at least 880 plus to get a seat okay because this uh, because they have to normalize the entrance exam score also with your gate it is not that if you are scoring 770 you are a, you are a, not a good person you, you obviously you are a good student therefore only uh, you have scored the 770 plus but they also have to normalize the scores of entrance exam right so therefore they uh, take this bar up okay so they set the bar up very high and this entrance exam has also two parts one is the pca part and another one is the pcb part so this pca part will consist of mcqs 30 mcqs are there and you will be given uh, two hours of time you'll be given two hours of time each consists of four marks uh, plus four marks if you uh, uh, if the correct option and uh, zero marks for uh, negative uh, for wrong answer zero marks for wrong four marks for correct and plus one if you don't attempt if you don't attempt it will be given plus one okay so this is actually a 120 marks exam and it will be consisting of two hours and this PCB part again consists of two parts. Again consists of two parts. One is CS part, and another one is the mathematics part. And this syllabus of PCA is 10 plus 2 level, JE mains and JE advanced, JE syllabus. Okay. And this is two parts. One is the CS part and the mathematics part, and this is a subjective test. Subjective test. And I can tell you about the CS part. The CS part will be consist of 10 questions. There will be 10 questions and obviously 2 hours of time. Okay. And this PCB will be uh, from let's say DS algo uh, DM. These two are the main topics. And you have to focus on this DM very, very uh, more. Okay? Much more than um, you have considered in your gate. Because DM is the most important thing for entering into ISI. And you also have questions from DBMS, TOC. TOC, they have uh, very good questions. Uh, I can give you the question if you join me in the LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, also from CN and of COA. And some questions from digital as well. Okay. So this is the uh, syllabus for this PCB part of CS. And you have 22 hours, 10 questions. And the most... And the main thing you need to remember here that the number of question, number of question you solve uh, doesn't matter much. Doesn't matter much. Okay. So if you have, suppose you have solved five questions out of 10. Okay. Let's say you have solved five questions out of 10 questions 
and someone has solved eight questions out of ten questions okay and this person has solved this just by writing four or five lines of each uh, for each question and you have solved this five question by entire explanation you have explained the things very well uh, explained the things very well in your five questions and this this person has solved this one these eight questions just by writing three to five lines of each question then there is a high chance that you your marks will be your paper will be shortlisted okay because they focus on the explanation more okay their focus is on explanation how you are approaching the question more okay so um, this is all that i need to tell you about this exam and if you are quite interested you can uh, connect with me in linkedin and you can get more and more about this and uh, if you want i can give you some uh, uh, tips on cmi or tifr exam also if you want the video on cmi and tifr and more details explanation or some paper analysis of isi then comment down in the comment box you can comment down and i will bring in this channel in this channel of arnavi i will bring uh, some uh, explanation of cmi tifr and also the paper explanation and paper analysis and how to and which book to follow and how to follow the path of this pcb and where to study this pca from i will all explain this in a separate video if you want this video please like this video and comment down if you want the other video okay so with this i would like to end my today's session thank you and prepare hard